peace, it's the chosen one, Merkaba 13. And I want to let you know that God has a special plan, a special purpose. And God has a very important message for you. Right now, the universe is conspiring in your favor to give you everything that you desire in life. And God is trying to send you a message right now. The ancestors are sending you a message right now. But most people cannot hear the message that's meant for them because they're too distracted and they're too focused on what the devil is doing and what the devil is saying. They spend too much time focusing on negativity, focusing on lack, focusing on what they don't have, focusing on what people that they don't like are doing. They're focusing too much on the external and they're neglecting the internal. You see, a lot of people are religious. I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. I deal with all types of information. I deal with all types of different cultures, different religious ideologies, and I learn from all of them to strengthen my own connection with the most high, with the creator. I feel that the creator is too infinite and too vast to be put into a box of one ideology. So when I, you know, think about God and the devil, I look at it in a symbolic and in a metaphysical way. You know, God represents the highest level of consciousness, the highest level of love, the highest level of intelligence, the highest level of knowledge and the highest level of being that exists. You see, and this is really our true nature. This is the nature of the soul, the nature of the spirit. This is the oneness, the spiritual oneness from which we all come. So when we, um, you know, when you talk about the devil, you really are speaking about the ego. You're really speaking about all of the negative and lower emotions that keep us trapped in repetitive cycles of hatred, of self-hatred, of warfare, of, you know, dislike, of discontent of stress, of disease. This is all based upon low vibrational energy. So most people cannot gain, they cannot hear the messages that God is sending them because they're too focused on the devil. You see, attention is energy. And what you worship is what you give the majority of your time and energy to. So a lot of people, they focus so much on what Donald Trump is saying. They focus so much on what the government is doing. They focus so much on what all of the people in the media are saying, but they can't focus and they can't hear God. They can't hear the divine messages that their ancestors are trying to send them because their mind is filled with negativity and with the bullshit from this world and from this matrix. You have to be able to tune out from the bullshit, you have to be able to tune out from that low frequency that they want you tapped into. They want you tapped into that low frequency that, re that resolves around fear, that resolves around trauma, that resolves around negative, you know, mindless, ignorant bullshit. That's that's where they want your energy at. That's, the, that's where they want you to vibrate at. That's where they want your mind at. So when you vibrate above that, this is what allows you to be in alignment with God. You can't be and alignment with God if you only focused on the devil. Like so many people are unconsciously, you know, addicted to negativity. They're addicted to the drama. They're addicted, you know, they get a rush. It's a dopamine hit that they get when they, you know, turn on the news and see some crazy negative shit going down. Like people are unconsciously addicted to that. And if you want to live your best life, if you want to reach your full potential, you have to become in tune with God. What is God saying to you right now? Better yet, what is the God inside of you saying to you right now? Can you hear God? Can you hear the God inside of you wanting to be liberated and fully manifested on this earth? Can you hear the messages that will instruct you exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it? All of the questions that you have in life, you hold the answers to. God is constantly trying to communicate with you, but you can't hear him because you're focused on the devil. You're focused on what the TV is saying. You focus on what these hoes talking about. You focused about what all these niggas who don't got your best interests or your like mind, you know, 
all of these people that don't have you know the same type of vision the same type of spirit the soul and energy as you you're, you're focused on that but you're not focused on your spiritual oneness with the creator you're not focused on reaching your full potential you're not focused on doing exactly what you need to do to level up to boss up and to get to where you need to be in life that's what god is about god wants you to be fully successful fully happy he wants you to be in a state of fulfillment in a state of abundance and you can't get there if you're if you're constantly focused and stressed about what's going on in the world what's going on around you you know god is constantly showing you and giving you the answer but we don't hear him you feel me because we're so caught up in the matrix we're so caught up in the bullshit so this is just you know a reminder man to stay focused you got to clear your mind you got to meditate free your mind from the bullshit free your mind from the matrix free your mind from everything in society and get in tune with your inner self get in tune with nature get in tune with the universe get in tune with god get in tune with the most high get in tune with what your purpose is with what your divine gifts are you feel me that's where the focus needs to be you can't focus on all of the problems in life and not focus and put energy to the solutions you are the solution you leveling up you bossing up you becoming more spiritually grounded spiritually aware and you becoming in alignment with your best self is the best way to help others so stay focused, man, and stay open, stay receptive. You know, you got two ears and one mouth for a reason. A lot of enlightenment really has to do with just shutting the fuck up sometimes and being able to be receptive and receive the information and receive the messages and the clues that the universe is giving you. Because so many people neglect and block their own blessings because they focus too much on their burdens. You feel me? They block their blessings by focusing on their burdens. You feel me? They block the solution and the answer by focusing too much on the problem. You got the power to create your own reality and do anything that you want to do in life. So stay focused. Keep your ears open. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes on the prize. So as always, man, um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, check out my website, www.mercaba13.com. And as always, peace.